here are the male and the female together. Now if you look at the mask, you can see that this is the male and this is the female. Hi there, welcome to another episode of Reading Avian Dinosaurs. Today is a beautiful day, it's the beginning of March. The birds are slightly coming into uh, a um, breeding condition and I have taken the opportunity to clean out the outside aviary, the big outside aviary. So now the Peking Robins and the Goldfinches and the Beric Reedlings and the Red Crown Finches, they're all inside now, I changed them inside so I can give the uh, outside aviary a good cleaning. I will show you how they are here inside. You can see the Goldfinches, you can see the Peking Robins over there. And now they're inside, there's a nice opportunity to uh, take a good look at, up close and to see uh, in what condition they are. And today, well today I'm going to show you the differences between a male and a female goldfinch because a lot of people have trouble with uh, determining whether a goldfinch is a female or a male. Well, the first thing that is very important is that the goldfinches must be adult goldfinches because when goldfinches are young, they have a different uh, plumage, so they have a uh, juvenile plumage. And when they are starting, to, when they're getting into their first molt, after first molt, there are still very subtle differences between male and female. So the most important thing is that your goldfinch has to be uh, one year old or older to have very uh, certain. Uh, to be really sure about the gender of your goldfinches. So let's take a look about uh, at the goldfinches from our clothes and I'll show you the differences between male and female or cock and hen goldfinches. First we will take a look at the male and you'll see the mask of the male is bright red and it's and it, the border of the mask is passing the eye so the the, the 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 eye is completely covered with the mask so that's the first sign that you're dealing with a male here and a second uh, feature is um, here the the feathers in at the base of the uh, of the beak uh, when you're having a male the male the, the, the these feathers are black so that's a good sign that you're having a male second sign or the third sign actually, is we take a look at the wings. This part of the wings should be black or very dark brown, very dark brown and black. And when in a male, this is, uh, or when you're having a female, this is more of a brownish color. So that's a sign that you have a male. And the last sign is you look at the breast of the male. I don't know if I can show this to you. But right there, you can see some yellow feathers, and that's also typical for a male. But very important thing to notice is that uh, when you're having a young male goldfinch, these yellow feathers, they sometimes do not appear. So as this is a future of especially older goldfinch males. So this is the male, and now I will show you the female. So now this is the, the female, if you look at the mask, it's not passing the eye, so the eye is not completely covered with the red mask. And if you look at this part behind the white, uh, the red mask, you see this is more of a brownish, grayish color. So this is definitely a female. If you look at the feathers at the base of the beak, you can see they're not completely black, they're more of a brownish, grayish color. So that's an important feature too, feature too, that this is a female. If you look at the wings, I'll show it to you. Well, this part in the male is more black and this is a female and this is more of a brownish color. So that's important to see. And if we look at the breast, well, there will be no yellow feathers at all. So this is a typical sign that this is a female. Here are the male and the female together. Now if you look at the mask, you can see that this is the male and this is the female. The mask in the male is 
behind the eye so the eye is to completely covered with the mask and when you look at the female it's not passing passing the eye and the eye is not completely covered with the mask so that's a very important feature and I will show you the color of the wings again this is more blackish and here this part is more a brown color as you can see so this, this is the most important differences so the mask the uh, the feathers at the base of the uh, beak and this should be black when, when it's a male and, and brown when it's a female so those are the most important differences well i hope that um, this will make it easier for you to determine whether a goldfinch is a male or a female now we're going to put these guys back into the aviary and uh, just leave them alone for the rest of the day so i gave the birds a good checkup well they all look healthy so now i'm going to open up the entrance so they can go outside again oh. sorry and Outside the aviary is now the only thing I've been doing. Marasa espiola canaries, they are also paired up right now. So this is pair number one. A slightly uh, ticked variegated hen with a complete yellow male or cock. This is pair number one. This is pair number two. A buff variegated female with a uh, grey variegated male. Pair number three, a white female and a variegated jaspis, jaspis male. So this could be an interesting combination. This is pair number four, a buff variegated male and a intensive variegated female. This is pair number five. A variegated female and a cinnamon male. This is pair number six. A variegated cinnamon female and a uh, cinnamon or grayish male. So this could be an interesting combination too. And this is pair number seven. A half blood orange rasa espiola and a yellow male female is buff and the male is intensive and this is pair number eight also an interesting color combination a female agate white and a, a yellow male and the male is um, a little bit buff so this could be interesting now we're going to we're going to wait for a few weeks and then we'll give them their uh, nest bowls and we give, give we will give them some nesting material in about a few weeks and let's hope for some eggs in April. And I also wanted to show you this. The uh, common wax bills I bought two weeks ago are out of the canteen cage and they are now in a larger cage together with two young um, yellow fronted canaries and the nutmeg mannequins. All the youngs are all together and a uh, Cuban finch female. 
so they have a little bit more space now and they're doing just fine they're doing very well no losses until now so it's very very uh, well very interesting and I hope they will get, give me some young this year I hope you can see them through the bars well this was it for today I hope my tips about determining the sex uh, of your goldfinches will help you in the future with determining the sex of your goldfinches one day like I said, a lot of people are having troubles with it, and, uh, especially the, well, the lesser experienced goldfinch keepers. Of course, when you are an experienced goldfinch keeper, you know the differences just by looking at them in a few seconds. Um, well, this was a short update. Hopefully, in a few weeks, some more updates about the Rosas Viola canaries, and maybe the first nests are being built by my birds. Well, this was it today. for today. This is what's my vlog for today. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, like it. And, well, maybe I'll see you next time. So, bye-bye and howdo!